Defensive effort tonight. Uh, how to be able to start the game with that run, take control, and lead wire to wire, and answer each time UConn tried to start a run. What does that say about the defensive effort for you all tonight? That says we have a stingy defense. I mean, everybody takes pride in their defense, and you definitely you've seen that on display tonight. Our next question will come from Emma. Emma, go ahead. Uh, hi, I'm about to Larry from Sports Illustrated. Uh, to think about where this program has come since you, you transferred, to look at you know the lows from when you started to where you are now. Just what does it mean to look back and think of what you guys have? Been? Man, it's it's crazy. Um, I can't even describe to you the adversity that myself, my teammates, and my coaches went through. And just like looking back, like reflecting. It's amazing how resilient we are. Uh, we never gave up. We kept faith and, you know, we kept working our tails off and, you know, we trust each other and, you know, we will do anything for each other. And, I mean, you definitely see that. You've seen how that came, like, about and how we're just sticking to that. And, you know, it's been a crazy three, four years here. And, like, just seeing that is definitely momentum. Our next question will come from Natalie with the New York Times. Go ahead. Hey, Ari, congratulations. Um, I just wanted to ask, in your last press conference, you said that you had your chance with your teammates, that you were ride or die for them. So I just wanted to know, you know, what did you know that everybody else didn't know back then, you know, that everybody who might have counted you guys out wasn't thinking about? Uh, my teammates are dogs. I mean, it started with me, and I think that effect rubbed off on my teammates uh, this last stretch of playing basketball. And, um... I'm just proud of them. I mean, we had that mentality. Uh, we wasn't scared, and I mean, it showed tonight, and I'm just extremely proud of them, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of my teammates and my coaches. And we just beat a great team. I mean, UConn, I mean, that's a powerhouse, and I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Our next question will come from Michelle with Arizona Republic. Go ahead. Congratulations, Ari. Uh, you've talked all week, and coaches talked all week about not having the pressure on you and going out and playing loose and playing free, that looked evident tonight, and maybe UConn with the pressure was a little tight. Did you think that was the case? Uh, definitely. Um, we were the underdog, and, I mean, we kind of felt that way all season. I mean, that kind of boosts our confidence and makes us play harder that nobody think, you know, we can beat, you know, these top teams or even just accomplish the things we've accomplished. I mean, they were tight. I mean, my teammates have been playing free this whole tournament. I mean, hey. <laughs> we're made for it, like Coach says. Our next question comes from Michelle Smith. Go ahead. Eric, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you got, at the end of the game, when they're making a run at you, which you probably expected was going to happen, I know that Adia said that on the TV broadcast. Were you feeling pretty calm about it? Did you feel, you feel like you guys were still in a good spot? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, everyone knows that basketball is a game of runs. I mean, we knew that we're going to take, you know, a couple of their punches down the stretch. But, I mean, the maturity that my team showed, I mean, we never got rattled. I mean, we just kept, you know, being more feisty on defense, like talking to each other like, hey, we have to lock up, take pride. I mean, we have to value every possession, whether that's defense or offense. And, I mean, we stuck with the game plan. Our next question comes from Troy Hutchison. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Ari. This is Troy Hutchison from All Sports Tucson. Uh, you guys led the whole entire duration of this game. There was, were points and times where it was tied. But coming into today's game, everybody talked about how it, Arizona was a one-person show. But your teammates stepped up big time. You had two other teammates in double figures, and I believe five different people or maybe eight different people scored the basketball. Can you just talk about the effort from the whole entire team? I mean, uh, my teammates, uh, everybody has been perfecting their role. They've been coming up big. I mean, it's not a one-woman show. I mean, um, I have a great supporting cast. I believe in my teammates, you know, never have any doubt in them. I always boost them up. And, I mean, I'm happy. We can be more balanced. I mean, hey, that's great. Um, you know, it helps me relax, and I can distribute, which I love to do. So, I mean, I'm just extremely proud of my uh, teammates for converting and starting to step up and really perfect their role. Our next question comes from Chantel Jennings. Go ahead. Hey, Ari, Chantel Jennings with The Athletic. Uh, you and Adia obviously have a really close relationship, but on the sidelines, she's very chill. She's smiling a lot. She's laughing a lot. I'm just curious, like, what does that do for the mentality of this team that even in a Final Four game, you have your head coach against UConn, like, cracking jokes, or at least it appears so? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, we feed off Coach Barnes' energy. I mean, with her laughing, you know, cracking jokes on the side, it makes us be even more loose. Like, okay, Coach is not uptight right now. She's not tight at all. So, I mean, hey, let's have fun. Let's keep on smiling. So, you know, her energy is definitely, it's, um, I don't want to say, it's definitely, it rubs off on us. I mean, it's contagious. Our next question comes from Nancy Armour with USA Today. Go ahead, Nancy. Hey, Ari, congratulations. Um, how much were you guys bothered by and motivated by the NCAA leaving you guys out of the, the pregame video? Oh, we were highly upset. I mean, we definitely took it as a sign of disrespect. Like, I mean, we all got the call, you know, to go down there and do media and just for us to be left out, like, it wasn't cool at all. Um, but that was definitely, that was one of our motivations coming in. Like, okay, y'all think it's the final three? It, okay, we're going to show y'all. So, I mean, we shocked the world tonight. So, I mean, keep betting against my teammate tonight. We're going to show you wrong. We're going to prove you wrong, so. Our next question comes from Lindsay. Lindsay, go ahead. Hey, Ari, you, Lindsay Schnell, USA Today Sports. Um, to follow up on that, so they, clo they did a close-up of the huddle afterward, and it looked like Coach maybe said... F the NCAA? No. What, uh, no? Is that, did that happen? I don't, I don't recall hearing that. Uh, <laughs> maybe because I was pointing to my family, but I definitely didn't hear Coach Barnes say that. Uh, Our, next, yeah. <laughs> Our next question comes from PJ Brown. Go ahead. Hi, Aria. This is PJ Brown from the Arizona Daily Star. You know, Aria, you guys took, a lead right away. I mean, you just came out and did your thing. Was there a moment, you know, that you're, you're thinking, wow, this is going to happen? Uh, no, I mean, we were, we were confident. I mean, we've been playing with confidence these last four or five games. So, I mean, we know that the first five minutes of the game, they're crucial and they're important. I mean, um, we were hitting, and we were getting stops, playing solid defense. So, I mean, it wasn't like a wild moment. It was like, we're confident. Like, we, we do this. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, hey, that's our, that's our identity. I mean, we've been doing this from the start, and I'm loving it. Our next question comes from Javier. Go ahead. Hey, Ari. Javier Morales, Tall Sports Tucson. Congratulations. Um, what, what, I mean, you, you came out and hit that three pointer right at the bat and, and then Sam hit one before they even scored. How important was that to, to make that first one and to get the ball rolling like that? Oh, that's definitely important. I mean, honestly, Coach Barnes, like, she hates when I take threes on the first possession. But, I mean, she's not going to tell me to stop shooting. But, I mean, I'm feeling it, like, from downtown. So, I mean, obviously I'm about to shoot it. And I was just watching how the defense was playing me. But, I mean, it, it was momentum. And to see Sam hit that three, I mean, we can get Sam involved in any way I love. And, I mean, I love her to, to shoot more. But, I mean, definitely gave us momentum. And it made us play defense even harder. The next question comes from Ryan. Ryan, go ahead. Uh, Ryan Calipier, Arizona Desert Swarm. Um, Ari, in the second quarter, you hit a big shot and you did kind of a, a shoulder shrug and then you crossed your arms. What was going through your mind in that moment? I was just thinking in my head, like, I'm a, I'm the dog. I mean, I'm the stuff. So, I mean, I was just thinking that, like, man, nobody can't stop me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Our next question comes from Michael. Michael, go ahead. Hi, Ari. Michael Farrar with Berg Sports Network. As you, as you know, Stanford won, you guys won. The Pac-12 is going to be in the national championship. To be in that conference, to see the conference representing, how excited is that for you as a player to represent your conference and facing another conference school? That's so exciting. I mean, that's a telltale sign that we're the best conference in the country. I mean, for us to do that, I mean, how many times have that happened? I mean, this is, this is crazy. And, I mean, we're going up against a talented team. I mean, we know each other. I mean, it's going to be exciting. Our next question comes from Sunil. Go ahead. Sunil Sundaraja with Global Women's Sports Radio. Uh, congrats, uh, Ari, you said on the win and advancing uh, to your first national championship game, you know, with, along with the team. But I had to uh, ask you, Ari, 92nd straight, active, uh, 92nd straight game with 10-plus points. That's the longest active streak in Division One. I. I mean, 90 points in your last three games. Uh, you've been hitting it from behind the arc. I, I thought tonight you used, you know, your speed, your quickness especially, I mean, you were giving them fits all night uh, with UConn. Can you just talk about it and uh, you know, this performance tonight, Dari? Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
I didn't do anything, you know, different. Uh, I just kept playing my game, taking what the defense was giving me. And, um, you know, I just want to see how they were going to play me, and I did. I mean, it's not checker, this is chess. So, I mean, I'm always the next step uh, ahead of my opponent. So, I mean, nothing different. I mean, I'm just keep playing my game and stay confident. Ari, thanks for your time tonight. We've reached our time limit on you tonight. Um, they'll, she'll be, they'll be available again tomorrow for press conferences. We'll next hear from the coach. Can I add one more thing? Uh, sure. my, my name is Ari, not Ari. Sorry. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, Ari. We'll next hear from Adia Barnes.